Hey folks, thanks for tuning in to another one of these Lord of the Rings action figures by Diamond Select Toys, and it is Aragorn. And uh, yeah, I, I said in the last few Lord of the Rings videos that I will get Aragorn up and uh, finally getting some time to sit down and record this one. Um, so yeah, I'm pretty excited. This is the one that started it all for me, to be honest, with these Diamond Select figures. And uh, yeah, really, really impressed. Um, I went back and looked at some of my toy beers at Aragorn's and they uh, they just don't stand, they just don't hold up anymore. <laughs> Whereas this one looks really, really good. Um, a few other little details I would prefer to prefer to have seen on this one, but um, it's all good. I, I, I still dig it. I like it a lot. I think it's great. Um, probably my favorite depiction of Aragorn and his outfit. Um, however, he is missing the sort of the elven cloak that they're all given after they leave Lothlorien and uh, the original solicitated solicitation images showed him with his bow and arrow as well but that is unfortunately missing but um yeah it just seems like they, they just had to make some changes during production and uh, yeah this is what we've got now so we'll take a look at the accessories it does come with the uh, arm and leg for Sauron which I'll hopefully have completed next week. Just minus his staff, I still need to get a hold of the Moria Orc. Um, but I do have Frodo and the Ringwraith on the way to complete Sauron. Just need to wait to get that Moria Orc. But yeah, this is cool. So yeah, I've got a head, two legs, two arms. Just need those torso parts um, from Frodo and the Ringwraith. So. Stay tuned for those reviews because they'll be coming up very, very soon. Uh, other accessory wise, he comes with the uh, flaming stick from Weathertop when Aragorn took on, it was five of the uh, the Nazgul, the ring race there up on, up on Weathertop. So that's kind of cool. It looks good, a nice, nice flame effect. Um, I do still have my old one from my old Aragorn and you could actually, the way it was, the flame was sort of coming up this way as if it was sort of held out like that and you could actually just lodge it in the ring rat's head so that was kind of cool um but yeah this is all right it's it's and you know you could depict a lot of scenes with this one just as a uh you know walking through caves etc etc it may may also be um from the uh paths of the dead i can't remember whether they took a uh i assume they took torches in there also comes with uh anduril Flame of the West, the reforged sword. This looks nice. Nicely sculpted. You can sort of see some of the uh, Elvish font engraved into the center of the blade there, which is nice. There's the uh, pommel and hilt, looks great. Really, really nice. It comes in the uh, sheath or scabbard, I'm not sure what to call it, which is also very nice. Fortunately, there's no way to sort of attach it to his existing belt. Like, it'd be cool if there was a feature where you could swap them out, so you could swap out his old sword, which I'm forgetting the name of, and uh, put it there instead. Um, But that's cool, I like this one. I do like this sword. I like this as an extra, just to switch out for some scenes, depending on which I wanna, depending on how I wanna display him. But it looks good. So this sword is also removable. It does fit nicely in there. He also has his shorter, shorter blade here, which is really nice. Slots in there nicely. And yeah, it's a, it's a good outfit. This is sort of like, for me, it's post fellowship. Like this is, uh, you know, Orc Hunter Aragorn as him, Legolas and Gimli are tracking Merry and Pippin through Rohan um, up until they come across Gandalf the White and the Rohirrim. It looks good. Get a zoom up and have a look at his head sculpt here, which I think is a good likeness. I do think it's just some more like 
aging, I guess. Like just some sort of wrinkles on his forehead, like just forehead lines. It looks a little bit too smooth. Um, but otherwise, I think it looks all right. You know, some lights are better than others. You know, I've just got a pretty bright ring light here, so. But, yeah, I think it's much better than anything I've seen before. Um, for particularly the, the smaller scale action figure. But yeah, he's wearing Boromir's uh, arm gauntlets there. I assume they're gauntlets, I can't think of the real actual name for them, but that doesn't matter. It's depicting the White Tree of Gondor on there, which is which is a nice, nice touch. You have the Even Star necklace there, which is nice. Which is sculpted on really nicely painted actually. The whole outfit's really nicely weathered, detailed. The belt strap, the buckle, the ties and stuff in his shirt. The slightly bluer shirt underneath. Weathering on the trousers, the boots, the sort of dirt that's sort of kicked up onto the back of his his coat. Up on the back there, looks good. His ring doesn't have the little emerald, but it uh, doesn't matter. It's a very small thing. <clears throat> There's the uh, sheath for his sword, which is just uh, belt strapped on there. Looks like it's glued on. So I guess you could sort of slice them off and change it over to this one if you really wanted to. Uh, but for most part, this is you know I'd like to see them do a uh, King Aragorn, which would then hold the purpose to this more so, which would be really cool to see. But yeah, really nicely sculpted, nice moulds all over this figure, looks good. And uh, yeah, looks, looks fantastic, posed alongside of uh, Legolas and Gimli. Hopefully we get some more members of the Fellowship. I'd love to see them. I'd love to see Boromir. I think he'd be fantastic. Faramir, he's not technically part of the Fellowship, but still would be a great character to see. Uh, Gandalf is on its way, I believe. Um, there is a uruk coming. So yeah, hopefully we start seeing some more characters like, uh, you know, the Moral Hobbits. Bill, uh, Frodo's on his way, so Sam Merry Pippin. That'd be awesome. Elrond, perhaps. I don't know. It's it's seriously. There's so many characters they could do. I hope this line continues because um, yeah, I'm really liking these figures. Really, really liking them. Love to hear your thoughts. Please sound out in the comments below. Yeah, I give Aragorn his flaming stick. Let's hunt some orc. Yeah, absolutely fantastic. I think it's a good likeness of Viggo Mortensen here. I think it looks good. So at last, the trio. What business does an elf, a man, and a dwarf have in the Riddermark? Speak quickly. So there we have the three together. Fantastic stuff. Thank you, Diamond Select, for giving these Lord of the Rings figures a crack. I think you're doing a really good job. I hope to see more. Um, definitely some, definitely like to see some improvements. Um, but yeah, for the most part, I will keep buying them. If they're, if they're this standard quality, I'll be happy to pick them up and add them to my collection. So thanks everyone for watching. I appreciate it. Send out in the comments below. Let me know what you think. Give the video a thumbs up, subscribe. Um, I'll be back with some more Star Wars content back to normal. And uh, yeah, I should have Frodo and the Ringwraith coming up in the next week or two. Um, assuming how good the postage goes in this sort of busy period of December. So thanks again, guys. Until my next video, we'll see you then.